Hey everybody, welcome to the Pace Studio here in Midtown Manhattan. We are really happy today to be joined by Gracie and Rachel. Guys, thank you so much for coming and uh, playing for us today. Thank you for having us. Yeah, you guys you guys have a, a self-titled album out, um, came out in June, and it's your debut album. You're also joined today, I should say, by Ricky Watts on mm-hmm. drum, or drum, drums. Mm-hmm. An assortment of various <laughs> kinds of drums. Um, so you guys are going to do three songs from, uh, from your record today. Uh, tell us a little bit about the first one you're going to do. Uh, this is Go, and we'd like to think this is the heartbeat of the album. So take it away.
Thank you, guys. Thank you. So I wanted to ask you about uh, this debut record that you made. Um, I was reading that uh, you guys uh, met as kids growing up in Berkeley, California, and we sort of did some artistic stuff together at that point as kids, but then sort of went off to separate music schools and eventually reunited here in New York. Yep. Uh, so, you know, I wonder, like, when you guys sort of initially uh, went your separate ways as kids, was there always this sense that we will basically eventually circle back to each other and make music together? As kids, yeah, we're still kids, we feel. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Um, no, it was kind of, I think we were figuring it out. We were recording for a while, kind of like a long distance musical relationship, feeling it out if it was going to get stronger as we were kind of apart for a while. Yeah. Being, being our, our own. separate paths developed and how that might inform one another's path. Yeah. So, so yeah, we were separately kids, then we came back together and we're kids again. Still kids. Now we've yeah. got a song called Only a Child, so there's a lot of that in there. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's a lot of self-discovery and stuff like that that was really honest in, in coming together and making this record in New York um, once we kind of left our respective uh, schools. And, yeah, right. And but I think, I think our backgrounds definitely do inform and kind of is the the seed and the, the foundation to Gracie and Rachel. You know, yeah, Gra Gracie classical. has... classical. Right. Yeah. Contemporary, right? And, and, and white was that and was that always kind of the dynamic? I mean, you know, yeah. as you were sort of off getting your own sort of individual educations in in music, yeah. Um, this was sort of like the the path that you knew that you were on in terms of like the the kinds of music you played and how you played it together. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Um, so my background is definitely like more in the classical realm of mm -hmm. things, and then I went to conservatory. But even while I was in conservatory, you know, I would take a break from practicing my concertos and put in Jan Tiersen and play along to Jan Tiersen. So I think there was always that inclination of me wanting to kind of and then I just break, her. break out yeah. of the, <laughs> and then I was like, the well, classical let's go. mold. But um, yeah. it's definitely still a huge part of my, my playing and my, um, how I write parts for Gracie and Rachel. And I right. think likewise for Gracie. Not at all part of mine. How, no. how do these songs come together uh, in terms of you know, the, the elements of them? Like writing a song? Yeah. Or, yeah. Um, there's so many different ways now. I think we, we send each other a lot of voice memos. We do a lot of song seeds. Like, they, you know, I have an idea and I bring it to her and she'll be like, no way. And that song doesn't get made. Or, or vice versa. Or she'll be like, that's great and let's do it. And that song gets finished that day. So, and then, you know, vice versa, she'll send me stuff and she, she'll she teach me little parts on the piano that she's come up with. And um, we kind of evolve things that way. But it used to be a little more of a segregated um, writing experience and now it's separated but now it's really quite you know melded we unified just, yeah. yeah yeah cool i also think as we're you know break bringing in more sonic elements and i'm using pedals and gracie's got this cool new <laughs> um, got this new beautiful nord that she has painted in all white um i uh, i think that's helping with the the writing and you know if you have more tools at your disposal you yeah. can make other new things yeah totally so like symbols. Um, yeah. So it's a good segue into uh, into more music from the record. So tell us Great. a little bit about this next song you're going to do for us. Uh, this is a song called Uncomfortable. Um, I'd like to just say it's about, you know, comfort being uncomfortable and discomfort maybe being a route to uh, more positive things. I start the song.
Thank you, guys. Thank you. So, um, one other thing I was I was sort of thinking about when you were talking about uh, that song, you were introducing that song, <coughs> comfort and, and discomfort, in sort of how they can re- work in sort of opposite ways. Um, there's a certain sort of duality, I guess, to the group in sort of color scheme and in a certain sense of your own personalities working off one another. And I know that there are some musicians who will tell you that a certain amount of like self-imposed limitation is great for their creativity and others who would say the opposite of that. And I wonder where you guys sort of fall in that way. Do you, do you work in certain like aesthetic or sonic parameters that help you kind of maximize that space? Or is that not something that really factors into what you do? I think a little of intentional, you know, that happening intentionally and some of it happening organically. But 
I'd say we used to joke that Rachel gave me structure and I gave her freedom in terms of like she would teach me all these, you know, important theoretical things in music that I had no understanding of and I would, you know, maybe open her up to, you know, some other writing perspectives. But now I'd say we kind of do that for each other and sometimes I'll have a really loose idea and she she knows how to, you know, tighten it up or or she knows how to really open it up and, and there's that kind of uh, play going on. And then of course I'm the the, the devil and she's the angel. You know? <laughs> yeah. Right. Do you ever do you ever switch or no. is it always no. Gracie and White? It's Rachel very and Black. inconvenient Owned for me. One thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Right. You yeah. would have to like. I get. I get. Reverse dye a, a the, lot of your stains. hair and stuff. Yeah. 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 I think like it just sort of happened where she was kind of tending towards this dark, nuanced uh, kind of persona and and I was the lighter and we kind of play play off of that a little bit in our music but. Is that something that does kind of like you know factor into the sounds, not just the visual element of it, but the black and white, that sort of the two-sided thing? Is that something that does make its way into the blueprint of the music? You tell me. Yeah. I I, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, think, I think, so. think so. I hope so. I think it's a part of you know this dance that we're trying to create, which mm -hmm. is um, you know we're trying to use our bodies in a way to express duality in a number of ways: conflict internally, emotionally, with anxiety, with release, and um, you know getting through things. There's that kind of a dance happening. We don't want to call it a war or a battle, but it's more of a you know a figuring out of a of an internal. Um, conflict kind of thing yeah and um, is that something you think will i mean is that something that continues as as long as the group continues like they're you know we'll i never mean, tell yeah uh, i mean like well is there might there come a day where gracie and rachel the are wearing album, green and yeah. red and uh yellow and we, purple we've been flirting with the idea that the next record will be in color but i feel like these these roles are very much part of our identity like in regular life yeah so i think it's nice to like have that sort of genuine you know, bringing that genuine personality to the group. Right, so. right. Was there ever any thought about naming it anything other than Gracie and Rachel? Yeah, sorry, Ricky. Um, uh, there was, we, you know, Rachel, yeah. of course, came around and of course, all yeah. the other, you know, That would have been my of, suggestion. Gracie I, really does work. Though. I self conscious yeah, I selfishly wanted it to be Gracie because there's Rachel in there, there's an RAC, but uh -huh. that wasn't very kind. Yeah, no, right, or, or, um, or Rachie. Rachie, yeah. yeah. It's just not a pretty combo. <laughs> um, yeah, but no, we just kind of went with our names, and we dropped our last names, so, you know, uh -huh. there's that kind of a, a union happening. Right, um, right. Mm -hmm. um, cool. So um, you guys are going to do one more yeah. uh, from the self-titled record. Great. Uh, what is that one going to be? This is our latest single. It's Only a Child.
Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so the the album came out in June, um, and it is self titled Gracie and Rachel. Mm-hmm. And you guys have a show tonight in New York at the Mercury Lounge, yeah. right? And then I think back out to the West Coast. That's is that right? right? Tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Tomorrow. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and come out all these tonight. 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 Tonight no, Mercury Lounge. No, tonight yeah. Mercury Lounge. Tomorrow we fly away. Tomorrow you fly away. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Love. Better to do it in that Love. order. That's than the better, opposite. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank um, you. And uh, all these dates, I think, graceyandrachel.com, is that the, that's that's the, the website? One. Oh, yeah. All right, great. Um, so congrats on the album. Sounded great. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thanks so much for coming and playing today at Pace Studios. Thank you so thanks much for Pace. having us. Yeah, guys, come back anytime. We love you. Thank Absolutely. you.